later. I'm going to be very stingy with who I decide to place in S tier. I think Sledge has always been a B or an A tier operator. His ability is amazing. He has nades. Um, he's a demon, bro. His ability is amazing. He has nades. The only reason why I don't put Sledge at S tier is two reasons. His primary isn't amazing. It's pretty good, but it's not amazing. Um, and the other reason is, um, his ability isn't amazing. Sledge is just a good operator. I think if you're brand new to Rainbow Six Siege and it's like your first season, wait, what? Rainbow Six Seven. If you're brand new to the Rainbow Six Seven, I think you should honestly, truthfully give Sledge a chance. On to the next operator. I think Sledge is the best operator for new players. Yo, Brew, thank you for the sub. Yo, shout out all the new Twitch subscribers. Make sure you sub to your boy Jinxie on Twitch. Get the Jinxie charm. Thatcher. Hey, man, I told you guys, I'm going to be very disciplined. I'm going to be very picky about who I decide to place in S tier. Thatcher makes it, man. Thatcher makes it into S tier. Thatcher has been one of, if not the best operator in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Seven. For literally seven years now, bruh. His ability is amazing. His primary is okay, but it, it's just like Sledge's primary. But it doesn't really matter. Because he has the best ability in Fortnite. Alright. Next up is Smoke. Smokey. I'm gonna say... See, Smoke's a tough one because it's like... If he's in the right hands, being used properly by a trained swordsman, smoke is S tier. The problem is, most Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Seven players have a rock in their brain. <laughs> so, we're gonna say A tier. Like I said, I'm gonna be very, very, very stubborn about... There's only gonna be like eight S tiers. But, my boy Mute is... S tier, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Mewed is the most well-rounded operator in Siege, bro. He has a charge gun. He has an SMG-11. And his ability is absolutely spectacular. You can use his ability as drone denial and breach denial. Yo, Caleb with the five gifted. Everybody spam W, Caleb. You could use his ability as drone denial and breach denial. Only operator you can do that. Thermite. Thermite's a tough one, man. I'm going to say A tier. Somebody in chat's going to be like, oh, dang, like, why A tier? I'll tell you right now why he's in A tier. The reason why Thermite is in A tier. Yes, thank you for the sub. Is because his primary is not that good. Low fire rate doesn't really have crazy damage. Thermite's good, but he's not great. Cameron, thank you for the tier one. Skadoobal, thank you for the tier one. Thermite is good, but he is not great. Ash, B tier. B tier. And then people are going to be like, Jigs, look, I know putting Ash at B tier might be a little out of pocket. Some might say it's a little bit crazy to put Ash at B tier. Her R4C is nerfed. Her R4C is not good, bro. It has a 1.0 scope and high recoil. Yeah. Thank you for the sub. The reason why the R4C is not good is because it has a 1.0 scope, high recoil, her ability is okay. Her ability is not like... Her ability is nothing crazy, bruh. Chad, I gotta have Ash add B tier, bro. And that's respectfully. Respectfully. Next up is the man, the myth. Paul, how is Tatiana? Uh, me and Tatiana are no longer dating. Pulse. Cardiac. Sensor. Yep, but I owe Pulse 
I owe Pors everything, man. Pors is my baby. That is my boyfriend right there. He can sense people's heartbeats through walls. He has a C4 and a UMP and a chad gun. Guardia. It's the answer to it. I have to have, bro. I have to have Pors at S tier, bro. I literally have to. Next up is Castle. We're gonna give Castle B tier because here's the. Hi Jinx, see I've been in a wheelchair my whole life, and my friend showed me your stream last night. I just want to thank you for making me get out of my wheelchair to turn it off. What the fuck, bro? Oh my god, bruh! Why would you donate that? Alright, bruh. That was the that was the rudest donation I have ever gotten, bruh. Alright. The reason why Castle is beat here. When Castle is in the right hands. He could be one of the best operators in the game. Where Castle is in the wrong hands, he could be one of the worst operators in the game. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Anybody have that friend who traps his teammate Try inside? If you're going to use Castle, bro, you got to know how to use him. New YouTube. Thank you for the sub. Montaigne, interesting, interesting. I'm going to say C tier. Lowest rating so far. I don't think Monty is a good operator. I think any operator with a with a P, with a secondary as their primary is not good, bro. Say again, thank you for the run, bro. Who donated that, bro? OJ. That was rude, man. All right. Skittle, thank you for the prime sub. Skittle. All right, here we go. Monty, I feel like if you main Monty, you've probably never been within five miles of a female, and you probably will never be married. I feel like if you main Monty, you will never be loved or married. So, yeah. I mean, bro, we're playing Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Seven. Like, like, let's have a little fun, bro. Why would you use a shield? Next up is Twerch. Now, this one is interesting because Twerch, man, Twerch. She used to be the best operator in the game literally a week ago. But her recoil nerf is so bad, they literally removed her vertical grip, bro. So she is no longer grippy. I gotta have Twitch add beats here, bro. I gotta have Twitch add beats here. Chad, I literally have to. Chad, I have to have Twitch add beats here. She's not grippy anymore. Chad, next up is Doc, man. I don't know. I think the new Doc is really, really, really underrated. I'm gonna say C tier, though. Because the biggest problem I have with Doc is if Doc perishes, he loses all value to his team. He's not like other healers. Like Thunderbird, Thunderbird just has to place down her heals and her job is done. Yo, also, Duncan, I don't want to conquer the day with Duncan. Okay? I, I don't want to conquer, I don't want to conquer the day. Okay? Thank you. All Duncan Donuts is going to help me do is conquer heart problems. Okay. Next up is Rook. <laughs> interesting, interesting. See, I think Rook is better than Doc because, like I said, bro, Rook doesn't have to be alive for his ability to be working. And Rook has a 2.0 scope, bro. <laughs> and Rook has a 2.0 scope. Next operator is Fuse. <laughs> interesting one here, F tier. If you disagree with me, you're Brin Silver. Fuse is the loudest, clunkiest, largest Johnson player in Rainbow Six Siege. Fuse is terrible. He'll never be good. 
Literally all you do is just run away from the fuses. That's it. Literally all you do to counter fuse is just run away from fuse. Glass, F tier. If you're using a sniper rifle in Tom Clancy's Rainbow 6-7, you're silver and you have no hope of getting out. Okay? Next up is Tachungus, F tier. If you're using Tachungus in Tom Clancy's Rainbow 6-7, you're in bronze and you have no hope of re removing yourself from bronze. Next up is Big Johnson Capcan. Bro, I think Capcan is one of the best ranked operators in the history of Rainbow Six Seven, bro. Capcan works at copper, he works at bronze, he works at a silver. Streams, bro, keep it up. Also, are you ever going to do a PO box? Great question. Yes, I am gonna start setting. Four set months, bronze, so. Thank you for the four months. I'm gonna start setting up my PO box sometime this week. Great question. Capcan's a demon, bro. He works at Copper. He works at Champion. Brits. F tier. If you use Brits in rank, you have a little Johnson. Next up is IQ. Ooh, baby, give me one more chance. You know it is Plasma Pink. Ah! I'm going to say IQ is A tier, bro. She can literally see any electronic gadget Chad is saying put it at S tier. Chad is saying put it. All right, fine. Capcat is S tier. Next up is Bandit. See, Bandit's a tough question because I feel like the old Bandit with like, you know, the ACOG and back when Bandit tricking used to be OP. I feel like Bandit was a lot better, but I feel like Bandit's never been the same since they added in Maverick. Blitz, thank you for the sub. I feel like Bandit has never been the same since they added him, Maverick. That's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. I'm going to say B tier. Jaeger. <laughs> Jaeger is the king of Tom Clancy's Rainbow 6-7. Jaeger has the largest Johnson. He's is he, Jaeger's Johnson is large and in charge, bro. He's been one of the best defenders since year one. You need him, bro. You need Jaeger. Jaeger is always going to be a good pick. Also, I hope me making this tier list helps out a lot of newer players on what operators to pick, what operators to not pick, so they can speedily speed through the ranks. Next up is Buck. I'm going to say S tier, man. Buck literally checks every T, bro. Amazing weapon. Yes! Amazing ability. Yes! Amazing gadget, bro. He has flashes. And he has hard breaches, bro. Buck is a demon. Now, this next one is going to catch a lot of people off guard. Frost. S tier. Back in the day, OG Jinxie two, three years ago was like, Frost, is it good? Frost, is it good? I take it all back. Frost is an absolutely splendid operator. She has a brilliant primary, brilliant ability, good utility. Next up is BB. Is there an option below F? I'm just going to put him at the end of the line of F. BB is, right now I can comfortably say... BB is the worst operator in the video game. Jinxie, move the sub pop-up. On it, on it, on it. So, I'm gonna say... Chad, listen, bro. I'm gonna say, honestly, Chad, BB is the worst operator in the history of Siege, bro. Literally. BB is the worst operator in the history of Siege, bro. His entire gadget is putting a shield on his face that slows him down and makes him slower and dodge and pr protects you from one headshot, one bullet. If you use BB, welcome to copper. <laughs> like, and I hope you enjoy your stay.
Next up is Valkyrie. <laughs> S-tier man, Valkyrie is an absolute demon, bro. Actually, I'm going to say A tier for Valkyrie because, you know, she doesn't fire on every cylinder. Her primary is not good. But in terms of abilities, she's top five on defense in abilities. Her primary is just not good. I'm going to say A tier, bro. Capitayo. I'm going to say D tier for... Thank you for the sub. I'm going to say Capitayo is D tier. Thank you for the sub. Because Capitayo, man, he's too situational. He's too situational. Cavera. E tier, bro. I gotta have Cavera in E tier, bro. I gotta have Cavera in E tier. E tier stands for excellently useless. Cavera brings no utility to her team whatsoever, and her weapons are terrible. Bro, now if they gave Cavera... That. Thank you for the sub. If they gave Cavera a 1.5 scope, she'd be amazing. Mauk, thank you for the tier 1. Leather with the 5 gift there. Habina, I'm gonna say S tier.